the University of Virginia was the first football team in the South. They had outscored their opponents by staggering numbers. He was attacked by a mass of players, and he went down in a heap. The cry came up around the country that college football is too dangerous. President Alderman was determined to save a sport that he truly loved. We appreciated how good Bill was. I mean, I had never seen anybody play football as well as he did. You do what comes natural. I can't tell you how good Johnny Pappett was. There's no way to describe it. He was great. Gep brought the wing T offense that a lot of people just couldn't deal with. Unanimously, they vote to play uh, an integrated team. We just wrote him back and said, let him play. No one had any idea at that time this was his first coaching job, first ever. They were known as the sad sacks of college football. Nobody thought Virginia could do anything but read and write in those days. That's tough, and you're getting ribbed all the time about your team. No one felt a guy like Welsh would come to Virginia. No one in their right mind ever envisioned the University of Virginia having the, that kind of success. Could a school like UVA reach a number one ranking? And the answer is yes. Anthony Poindexter, in my opinion, is the best football player I've ever seen. He made moves that have never been seen there before or since. And he's accepted by Robert Brooks to throw. Brooks looking near side. The oh, he the ball. When he ran up that sideline, he fell to his knees and put those arms up. I think he definitely taught me a lot about the game of football. The fake field goal. The fake field goal. Higgins looks to throw. In zone. Touchdown, Virginia. That senior year he had was about as spectacular as any defensive players had. I'd rank that up there with anything. There's no better feeling. And he hands off a of oh, no, 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 no,